Call Law Yahweh by Shimmy Hawa Shai, by Shimmy Kakudash. Call Law Yahweh by Shimmy Hawa Shai, by Shimmy Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Lama Haryum, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. By Hashem, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, is the name of the only begotten Son, who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. By Hashem, Kakudash, which is the name of the Holy Spirit, the volume of the book. Spirit of truth, Shalom, La Baharium, peace to the elect. That's the memory of the children whose names are written in the book of life. He's ordained to be delivered in these last days. You know, Shalom. And um, long story short, all right, this I was listening to the news. Uh, I like to listen to conservative radio, uh, Radio 680. Um, they're in league with uh, Newsmax, you know, which is basically this right wing conservative. You know, keep America great, make America great. Uh, Edomites, a lot of them are Edomites. You do got Jake that are into uh, that lifestyle, that way of living. You know that um, ideology, that philosophy. You know, uh, a lot of them are Christians. You know, their 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 principles and foundations goes back to what we like to call plantation Christianity. All right, um, this is where. You have that, you know, America first ideology because they believe that America was this great promised land that was set up by God. That's what they say. In God we trust, right? They say these, they say things such as that, which we know that when th their God is not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, their God is not Yahweh. If that was the case, when the when the so-called president would be sworn in, he would he would praise the name of, of the Heavenly Father, if that's the case, right? But they don't do that. All their um, rituals go back to different deities, you know, they're uh, being sworn in by separate gods, all right? Their gods are not the gods of the foundation of this world. Uh, nonetheless, I was just pondering as well as far as the uh, those that have vision, all right, in regards to understanding prophecy, you know, understanding what's to come, you know, and understanding uh, what's the necessity of things to do in these last days. And that, therefore, is a threat, not necessarily to those that I've mentioned about them, the conservatives per se. All right. It's more so, you know, from a democratic mind frame in which the reason why I'm identifying as because, as we know, the scriptures tell you that a nation divided against itself shall not stand or excuse me, a kingdom that is divided against itself should not stand, all right? Because a kingdom is a place where people live. America is a kingdom, it's not a nation, all right? A nation goes back to your nationality. There's many nationalities in this kingdom, okay? So, nonetheless, that, but what you see with this um, Mar-a-Laga, I believe it's called, because every time I see it, I think Maranatha, all right? Which, that's a heavy place in the scriptures. You know, but it was uh, Maragatha, if I'm if I'm saying it correct. Uh, Maragatha, this whole situation and what's in the boxes, what's going to draw the narrative of the things to come. See, the way the American people are looking at it from a right hand perspective, so to speak, from a conservative perspective, is like these people here are getting away with the Democrats per se, right, where you have Hillary Clinton, you have um, uh, uh, Joe Biden's son in the laptops, and the FBI, where's the FBI raid on that, where's the, where's the prosecution on that, because the typically the, uh, the mind frame of the people, when you detain a political figure, it's like those people are dealt with from a higher court perspective. In this case, it's the FBI raiding Donald Trump. That thought just came to my mind because if you are once of the state, you are once of that creed. You, you have a you, you have immunity. You have uh, you have diplomacy. All right. So this is very well much forth a staple and a threat to the common citizen. Okay, because the the 
the philosophy that America pushes forth is that you could be anybody you want to be and become president. Now, what's happening is that the regular common citizen, those good old good old boys, they would never think that there was a system set up outside of the American Christian Judeo principles that would come up against their system in which everyone is coming to that fact which by the way the prophets have been pushing forth for the longest starting with our spiritual fathers right uh king masha all right high priest Arya, you know so on and so forth down to the apostles and elders of great millstone who never wavered from that judgment from the priest okay who's the priest who's the high priest yahweh shy all right the lord's so i'm gonna do a video on that Deuteronomy 17th chapter that that priest that we're going to, to tell us to, to how to handle plea versus plea is Yahweh Shai and we're not supposed to sway to the right or to the left okay nonetheless woo, nonetheless right as we know it the biggest threat is neither sides because they're not up next to rule. Who's up next to rule is the children of Israel. The children of Israel are the threat. Whether you whether you are Masonic Israelite or you are a Mosaic Israelite, okay, for politically correct terms, all right, of the BMI, if you will, right. But us that are in the know, we understand prophecy. We understand that the Most High gave us his word. We understand that the blood of Yahweh Shai loosed the seals for us to return back to the Father. All right? When you read Revelation, the fifth chapter. Okay? Well, going back, well, the, the, what I wanted to title this video is essentially, you know, those that have the vision are the threat. And that's the case. Because those people are going to get weeded out. Let me say this too. Neither one of those sides are going to win. All right? Because the, the Democrats are showing forth this deep state uh, ideology, transhumanism, biometrics, you know, complete total control from a corporate status. That is capitalism from a corporate status. All right. But you have capitalism from a natural status, which that's just the way of life. And that's being taken away because a capitalist is a person who has a product and sells something. Right. And then tries to profit off the next product that's related to that product. That's all capitalism is. But if I if I if I if I if I'm a, a, a let's just say a plumber, right? Look, if you, if you're a plumber, you know you might want to go into welding, all right? Or you might want to go into you know um, some form of carpentry, all right? Or some form of other building science, because you are a plumber. That's natural uh, 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 capitalism. That's in the scriptures. The the gleaning of grapes. All right, that was, that, that's the welfare system of capitalism. So everyone capitalizes, but the capitalism that we know it of today is from a corporate standard. All right, where no one capitalizes but the deep state, but the NWO, but the elite system. All right, and this is why it's going to make it seem like this whole thing is going to manifest where this Democratic Party is going to flourish and this whole, all their agenda and you know, all the witchcraft and uh, uh, madness and, uh, um, you know, uh, abominations and defilements, all right, are going to be on display. And this is going to be the new way of life under everybody under electricity so they can control it. No, that's why I mentioned before, even the whole thing with the with the conservatives, all right? The conservatives don't want to get rid of gas. First of all, they understand the logic behind it, all right, and how it's uh, more uh, resourceful and not as expensive, okay? Because that's, you know, that's the that you, even us in the truth should be capitalists from a righteous perspective. All right. I remember a while back, Apostle Tahar used to always talk about those brothers that are, you know, strong in the prophecies should be getting with brothers that are strong in the law, and those brothers that are strong in the law should be getting with brothers in the prophecies. That's capitalism from a righteous perspective. We're looking to profit in every way, shape, form, and fashion to understand Yahweh Shai. Bar none. Okay? But in order to do that, you need 
I'll say this, going back to the title, you have to have the vision. All right? You have to have the vision. I know it's kind of going all over the place, but it's all about that vision. We already had the vision. The scriptures tell you, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he that run may read it. Okay? Read it means get involved. All right? Reading, reading can also be with your third eye. All right? You're supposed to be reading. That's another thing, you know, that I was, you know, that I learned that the the, the apostles used to always push forth. We probably they, they I know they, they I know they do, you know, to be being alert and being circumspect. And essentially, what it what was taught was to basically trust your senses. All right, because the Most High has opened your eyes to to what this thing is truly going to end off like. Think about that. Everyone else has a narrative on what this thing is supposed to end like. Because everyone is talking about the end of the world This got to be the end How is that going to go down? What does that entail? What is the what is the what what is that look like? And what does that look like prophetically? What does that look like According to the holy scriptures? Because it's not a rapture <laughs> There's no such thing as rapture Alright? I'll prove it Because The the so-called rapture doesn't display or describe the coming of Yahweh Shai. The, the rapture talks about people poof. Like they just disappeared. Somebody hit it up. For all we know, people could have got fucking kidnapped. How do we know that was the Lord? Why? Because it gives a description on what happens when the Lord comes back. He's going to have many crowns on his head. His vesture is going to be dipped in blood. All right? It's gonna, he's coming back in warlike apparel. All right? A, 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 a Malak Tazadak state. All right? Which is warlike, man. Okay? Abraham was a warrior. He was a he was a god king priest. All right? So yeah. So so that which is all is going to come to pass, man. All right? That's pretty much most of the points, you know, that I wanted to bring out. But it is ultimately, look, man, we have the vision, and ultimately, we're the ones that are being made a threat. The scriptures tell you he that uh goes towards righteousness make himself a prey. Right? So that that's the look, it's about righteousness. Okay? It's about being delivered out of this situation. Esau knows he can't control the world unless he has the children of Israel in control. This is why you have New York fried chicken. You have liquor stores. You have the lottery. All right? You got now smokes and vapes and hookah, cigars. That shit is fucking everywhere. Just go ahead and kill yourself, nigga. You know? Because what? The people have no hope. All right? The scriptures tell you, hope deferred make up the heart sick. All right, meaning your mind is gonna, you're gonna go ballistic. The people of this world are gonna go ballistic. Knowledge and wisdom stop be the stability of our time and strength of salvation. All right, matter of fact, I wanna get that real quick. One second. Right? It says what? Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge <clears throat> and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's the main part I wanted to get. Alright? Because it's about the fear of the Lord. Alright, I knew it was a piece that was in there I wanted to get. 
You know, and it also says what? Behold, their valiant ones shall cry, cry with doubt. The ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly. Right, and that's the cry of our Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Because th th this world is going to make it seem like there's no hope. They're going to make it seem like they're winning. All right, but we understand that the more they win, the more we win. Okay? And this is why you can't get, you know, really upset. Yeah, the prices is going up. You know, the prices is going up. You know, shit is becoming harder. Body is aching. All kind of manners of hell is being brought forth on us. But as bad as it gets, that's how better it's going to be. That's the nature of the beast. That's the nature of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. As it gets better for him, it's actually getting better for us, even though we're going through the pain and misery. What the scriptures tell you said the things that are. You know, that you're going to go for in this time Are not worthy to be compared You know So yeah, I, that's pretty much it You know I reached my destination You know, Lord's will, this video was edifying Call Lord Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Ra'akudah, Shalom